welcome to Vanita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is apple flips. There's many different ways to make apple flips and they're also called apple turnovers. I'm going to make it with a dough sort of a batter today, not a flaky batter. And it reminds me of when we were children years ago in Newfoundland. You'll buy them in packages and sometimes at a bakery and they're nice and the texture is delicious. I'm going to show you today how to make those. I've had a few requests for this recipe, so I'm excited to bring this one to you today. But what we'll do first is start creaming our butter and sugar. And as I go along, I will tell you the ingredients and I'll certainly post it for you as well so that you will have it to look at. So let's get started. So you're going to need a cup of room temperature butter. Um, you don't need to warm it. Usually I would say cold butter if you're dealing with pastry. But because we're going to be making a batter, it's a little different. Um, you don't need that flakiness of the crust. And we're going to use a half a cup of sugar. If you don't want a half a cup, you could even use less because this is for the outside of your apple flip. So you cream your butter and sugar together like this. Now this batch that I'm making here today will make eight apple flips. If you want more than that, you can double your recipe, of course. But this is what they will make. So what we're going to do now is add in a teaspoonful of vanilla and stir that in there. So pretty much all the wet ingredients now, what we're going to do and to get it creamed together quarter of a cup of evaporated milk or heavy cream and you'll stir that in there like this okay so you just keep creaming this until you start seeing it all blended together um, those of you who know me um, from watching previous videos you know that I'm using the spoon pretty much for mixing and whatnot or my hands if you want to use a food processor, go right ahead and do that. It will make it quicker for you, but if you just want the joy of making it yourself, just do it this way. So that's two large eggs I added into this mixture. So what our next step would be is adding two and a half cups of flour, and we're going to be putting this into a sifter or into a grate and a pinch of salt you can just eyeball it and two teaspoonfuls of baking powder and what we'll do now is sift this all down with our wet ingredients so just sift it all into your bowl with the wet ingredients which is your butter milk sugar Vanilla. Okay, so now let's mix all of this together. Okay, so now you're just going to mix that all together, just folding it in until it's all blended. So after it gets too hard for you to move with a spoon, just take all of the dough off the spoon and now you're going to use your hand like you would when you're making your bread or your tea buns. You're just going to mix it together until it creates a ball. So after you've got, got it all mixed together and you've got a ball created, just put it into your fridge and let it cool down a little bit because you got it nice and warm there now. And until we mix up our apple mixture, and that's only going to take a few minutes, but that'll just give it time just to cool down. So that's what we'll do. So our next step now to making these delicious apple flips, of course, is our apples. Um, you can select whatever kind you like or whatever kind is on sale that week. So, um, making a noise. I've got um, a Macintosh apple and one apple could make four apple flips. Two apples would make the, the eight of them. So we're just going to peel it up now and put it into small cubes. Okay, so that's apple number two. 
All right, so what we're going to do now is just cut it into small cubes and I'll show you what that's going to look like. Okay, so I'll cut up the two apples into small cubes like this. And you don't need them any bigger than that. And that could be perfect. So what we're going to do next is add in our spices and our brown sugar into this mixture. Okay, so that's a teaspoonful of lemon juice. You can do freshly squeezed or just the bath lemon. We're going to be doing, I'm going to eyeball this, but it's a half a teaspoonful of nutmeg, half a teaspoonful of cloves, and a teaspoonful of cinnamon. I'm going to eyeball it because I love spices and I'm probably going to put more than what I'm calling for. And a half a cup of brown sugar. So you're going to mix all of this into your apples. And like I said, if you like it a little sweeter, you can add more brown sugar. And the same thing with the spices. Just mix it all together. So now we got our apples that ready. Uh, what you would need is a rolling pin or a, a bottle and a six inch bowl on the, the round. And we're gonna need some melted butter with a, a little brush and some extra flour so that when we roll out our dough we get everything ready and I'll show you what's next. Okay so I got my dough there now it's a little bit um, harder than, than I started with. Um, we're going to take half of the dough just to make four and we're going to sprinkle the counter with some flour because now we're going to roll it. Then I'm going to show you what's next. Okay, so this is the fun part. Just get it nice and coated with flour. And then take your rolling pin and just start rolling out your dough. And flip it over each time until you make it the right size that you would need to cut it for your apple flip. Okay, so after you got it nice and rolled out, what you're going to need next is a bowl that's about six inches on the round. Place it down on your dough and just cut it around like this until you make a nice circle. And it's going to look like that. So continue cutting up your circles. So I only, we only took half. So you know that um, you can cut three circles the first time and then roll this back up again into a ball, add some more flour and then roll it out to make the fourth one. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add in the apple and spices to this. I'm just going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so there is our nice circles. So what we're going to do now is take about four teaspoonfuls of our apple and spices and put in the center. And you can put less and if you can fit more, then go ahead. And then fold it over like this to look something like that. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to seal that down, but we'll do all four first. So I'm doing four at a time, so basically just showing you pretty much how it's, how it's done. I won't be doing all of them today on this show, but I do have some that I baked in advance to show you after we put these together. So just fold it over like this and then shape it out like that. So we're going to fold over a fourth one and it's going to look something like this. And don't matter if you've got any openings in your dough because that's just breeding oats. And then you're going to take a fork. You're going to dip it down into flour like this each time. You're going to put the fork down and pull it away from you like this. And that is sealing the dough together, both sides. 
and then after you've done that, like that, you're going to poke some holes in the top. Now it's two ways we can do this. We can do it with poking holes in the top or we could make some fancy little cuts in it like this. So you could do it either way. Just as long as the apple inside is able to breed and let the steam out. So you're just going to go like that. Okay, so remember dip your fork in your flour and then just push it down and pull it along. If it wants to stay on there, if you find that your dough wants to stay onto your fork, just take it back out, put it into the flour just to give it that little bit of dryness on there. So this is what it's going to look like. Um, so now what you're going to need is a baking sheet and some parchment paper on it. And let's get layering these delicious apple flips onto our tray. Okay, so you're going to layer them on your pan like this. Um, it doesn't matter how you do it, but four on a, a, a cookie sheet is more than enough because you don't want to overcrowd them while they're baking. Now what we're going to do, we're going to glaze the top with a little bit of melted butter. You can do this as well with um, egg whites if you want to do that, or butter. Okay, so that's just a little dusting of butter over the top. Okay, so what we're going to do next, we're going to set our ovens to 350 degrees for 25 minutes. Now you may need it less depending on your oven. Just peek in and check it in between. If it's getting a nice golden brown, you know that you're just about there. So let's see what they look like when they come out. Okay, this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. They're absolutely delicious. Now we only got half of them done and I'll tell you what to do with the rest of them as we go. But let's take up one now and see what it looks like inside. Now you could have these of course hot or you can have them cold. You could sprinkle some icing sugar over it. You can have it like they are. It doesn't matter. It's all your preference. And what I'm going to do now is just cut into the middle of them just to show you what it looks like. And there it is. Absolutely delicious. So this is how quick and easy it is to make our apple flips. Now I was saying that I would tell you what to do with the rest of your dough. If you don't want to make any more than four at a time, um, just take the dough, roll it up in a little bit of parchment paper, a little bit of saran wrap, Keep it in your fridge. You can keep it in there up to a week or more. Take it out as you need it. The same thing with your apple and cinnamon. I mean, if you only want to make four, just do one apple. Or keep it in a little container because you've got lemon on it and all the spices. It'll stay okay for you for a few days. And then you can use it, bake it as you want to have it to eat. So thank you for joining me for Bonita's Kitchen today for this episode of Apple Flips. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and up at the top right hand corner, just hit the link, subscribe and it'll prompt you to what you need to do. You can also visit me on my Facebook page and you can also visit me on Twitter. And as well on www.bonnydiskitchen.com So from my kitchen to yours, thank you for joining me today. And you have a wonderful day.